It's not just a great achievement, but it sends out a message to other players who don't get their tour card. Don't sit tight, play as much as you can, and you can still have a big impact on the tour. Yeah, there's loads of arguments every year about the qualifying system and how tournaments are set up. And to be honest, for the vast majority of fans, they don't care. But the associate member qualifier giving spots to players without tour cards when the majority of tour card holders are sat at home in these European tour events. They're 60. not involved when there's big money available, big ranking money available and spots in major tournaments. Then, yeah, it is a debatable point 96. but what we have seen the benefits the likes of Christoph Rutajski using this as a platform to go and become a big net steady on I've used the P word yes 60. a launch pad <laughs> you crack on I let you borrow it for the weekend yeah thanks man but Christoph Rutajski Wesley Plaisier this year 100. Carol Sedlarczyk who's qualified for the European Championship by playing some brilliant stuff and may yet get his tour card by getting into the top 64 and the Euro One Tour European Championship will be a massive massive part in that well there's some very compelling arguments for why these associate member qualifiers are there and what value they can be but having qualified for five Euro Tours this year and played some excellent stuff, Wesley, it's going to be a bit of a heartbreaker if he doesn't win this game and doesn't get to Dortmund. Yeah. Dave Chisnell had some fans in the crowd. He's got a big fan in Poland, Wesley Christoph Ratajski. Be willing Dave on here. And Christoph Ratajski created all his own problems this year. Didn't win enough as a seed, did he, Dan, that first game? Remind if you... Use Dave Chisel as an example now. He's guaranteed £2,000, but if he doesn't win this game, 54. it doesn't go on his rankings. So it's either £3,000 on your rankings or nothing. So these are big games for the seeds and chance for Chiz to hit the front here. Double five. 35. Well, there's the other half of Chodge. Where's Rizzi and Roche, player and manager partnership. Or Rizzy. Chodge is better. Shut up, Webby. Plies you. He's, ah, he's feeling it a little bit, and why wouldn't he? No, you can forgive him. This is a massive match. I don't like just chucking in the word biggest game of his career, but it's one of them, Dan, isn't it? Certainly. Oh, dear. Very edgy stuff in the opening exchanges here. Now then, Wesley, you've had a good look at double top. Can you finally pin it? Yeah, he's taking his time here. Yeah. It's a 20 dart leg. It's a breaker throw. It, it's irrelevant. He's got a foothold. He's got to break early. He needed to break, and he'll take encouragement that Dave Chisnell's edgy because a flaw in Dave Chisnell's game is missing doubles. And if you see that flaw sort of apparent in the first leg, you're going to take encouragement. And he can play some excellent stuff, this lad. First maximum of this contest. It was a 6-0 win for him yesterday against Jeff Smith. And he was brilliant in the early stages. Jeff Smith was good. Yeah, I was going to say, Jeff played well, and he, he was thinking, what have I got to do? But plays it was just clinical. Ruthless at times. You look at some of his performances this year. There have been a lot of mid to high 90s averages from Wesley. The standout one was 104 one average against Jim Williams. Forty. That was at the German Darts Grand Prix, the tournament where he went on to reach the quarterfinals. Only beaten in the last leg, decided by the eventual champion, Luke Humphrey. He's a serious player, Wesley. And four spots available for the European Championship Finals now. Vincent van der Voort is confirmed in. So the four who are in the prisoner spots a minute, James Wade, Ryan Meikle, Chris Dobie, Christoph Ratajski, they're hanging on. But Chris Dobie can... Seal the deal. He's probably there, Chris Doby. Mm. If he beats Damon Hetter a little bit later on, he's confirmed. But will Wesley Plies be joining him? Well, that's it. If Wesley does win this and Doby wins his game, Ratajski goes and Ryan Meikle goes. And then it'll be James Wade in that last qualifying spot. But he would only be vulnerable to, say, a run to the final from a, a Richie Edhouse or, say, Mensor Sulevich. I mean, that, that wouldn't be beyond the realms, would it? Mensor Sulevich going all the way to the well, final. He was very six out of six on the doubles yesterday. And if he beats Gedwin Price, you take that seed in path, don't you? Game's on the 
Leslie has a good finish. They wait on 24. He made the perfect start. Far from his best, but breaking a hold. What a foothold. But at what point will he start thinking about the winning line? Well, to be fair to it, I, I, Munich was where he really announced himself, wasn't it? Whoa! And that is another 180 from Wesley. He looks swivels, doesn't he? he does. last that. Nathan Derry is the guy. I mean, he's nowhere near as pronounced as Nathan Derry, where there seems to be a lot of movement from the waist, where the entire the body sort of swings round with the arm. Sort of like a horizontal hendo, rather than rocking back and forth on that vertical axis. It sort of spins round with it. But when he's got it all in sync, he's very dangerous. And it was a whole weekend where he played at a high level. I mean, 104 against Jim Williams. Whoa! 93 taken out Colin. 95 and a half and taken out Dirk. And then average 99 in defeat to Luke Humphrey. So they're, they're serious averages there. Yeah. yeah it's That's proper stuff. 97. Chisnell with that 180. And it was looking like Plyser could be going to a double break. He may still get there. He's going to get a pop at 167. And got the numbers right there as well. I mean, look, he knows his way around a dartboard. This, this is big. Can he take out this 167? He can't. But Dave's been missing doubles. Is he going to get more change out of Dave Chisnell here, Wesley? Or is Dave going to get on the board? It's seven miss now. Chisnell on the board, and he had to hold there. Keeps him in touch, cheered by Christoph Ratajski. Well. 96. Do you think Ratajski's the type of player that look, will be looking on or will he just keep himself busy? I, you know what? I was never one to watch, but I'd be refreshing. Oh. Oh. <laughs> How's he missed that? <laughs> Back on the old live darts data, has got the black and yellow website, that one. <laughs> 135. Yeah, I'm not sure Christoph is, is watching this one. If you are, hello, Christoph. 93. Yeah, he is the one in serious threat, but I, I, I'm, I'm convinced it's all or nothing on this game for Christoph Ratajski. Dimitri Vandenberg, fan. He's in action later. Good game, that'll be as well. Gabriel Clemens was very impressive. And defeating Adam Hunt. I we had the discussion about Adam Hunt's darts last night, didn't we, Dan? Mm. Well, I'd say Wesley Plies is a kind of in that sort of mould, aren't they? Not quite as apparent as Adam Hunt's, but... We were comparing it to sort of a Dennis Priestley dart. Yeah, they're not dissimilar. You're not giving me complete credit for that. No, no, but no, they, I mean, there's, there are similarities. Wesley couldn't take out the 170. Neither can Chiz. And so the Dutchman can just re-establish that two-leg gap. Wesley requires and I think Wesley would have bitten your hand off if he'd been offered this at the start of the game. That's unfortunate. Happens more, more often than not, that. They're just focusing now. It's double four. And it's it's clinical. I, I like the way he's dealing with the situation here. He knows... If he wins this game, he's going to make his European Championship final debut. That's a big deal for Wesley Plies. Um, if he just joined with a happen on, he's done it without a tour card. He's had to work really hard just to qualify. I mean, he missed a trick, really. Why didn't he just say to the tour director, put me in? Because you're not going to stop him, are you? <laughs> but no fair play to him. And it sends out a message to other players. They just advise him another map to. If it doesn't work out at free school, work hard. And you can still make things happen, just like this man. Okay, let's find another max. Dave Chisnell lost out in the first round of the World Grand Prix since first time since 2015 last week. Lost to Dimitri Vandenberg in a deciding leg, and it was a... Uh, when it went to the deciding leg, it wasn't really exciting. Dimitri dominated on his own throw in that deciding set. He was composed. Can Dave be composed here? He is. Warming his way into the game now, Dave Chisnell. 12 that leg, and he's hanging on to the coattails of Wesley Plyser. And that lead, that one break, is really delicate for Wesley because if he loses that break, Chisnell's won the ball in the back room and become favourite for the match. 
Yeah, and the way that Chizzy's been playing for quite some time now, that, he, that, that title in Belgium did not really come out of the blue. Yes, it ended the longest wait of his professional career yeah! for a title, but Chizzy has been playing some good darts for quite some time now, and he said himself just a few weeks ago, I, I feel like there's a title coming. It could be a big one. Could have been something like the match play of the Grand Prix. 50. It wasn't. It was a Euro Tour and a great one to win. But like you said, it was coming. I mean, he was, it was unfortunate in Budapest when he lost to Joe, wasn't he, in that semi-final. Mismatched stars to make the final, and you kind of backed him there to beat William O'Connor, and you've seen the sort of lungy action of the last out. That happens with Dave, but normally it's effective, but couldn't find the six treble, but he's well on his way to breaking back here, Dave Chisnell. Yeah, five perfect darts to start the leg. A man who hit a nine darter on his way to the title in Belgium. Hit a nine darter here in Gibraltar. Last 40. time we saw a perfect leg on the Euro Tour prior to that one in Belgium. Yeah. It was here where the curse started. The curse of Ross, which is it's actually a real curse, not that green jacket stuff that Paul Mickelson goes on about. <laughs> 122. Dave Chisnell. Dave, you acquire 160. He's got more titles in him, and if there was any sentiment in the game, he'd get a major title, Dan, wouldn't he? But unfortunately, there is no sentiment in sport. He's got to make it happen. Yeah, I'd never rule it out, but it is very, very tough. Bullseye. Another stop and a pause. It worked for him last time. Smaller target this time. Does not matter, Wesley Plies here with a 1 2 6. That was brilliant from Wesley Plies. He was under it in that leg. Dave Chisnell threw everything at him and he responded. And this is so impressive. And that could be the turning point. That could be the difference between him being in the European Championship finals. Oh, I'm not being in it. But there's the roar. Look at the emotion. What a shot. And the composure, Danny. Composed himself on double four. You rightly said smaller target, but still as effective. Well, Two look, legs away. Look at the checkouts he's had. 74, 65, 126, and one on tops in the very first leg. All of those, one Dave Chisholm is on finishers. The majority of them is on one dart. He's on a double. And he's got one dart to hit it, Wesley, and he's managed to do it. It is extraordinary composure in what you rightly say is one of the biggest games he's ever played. Yeah, I know he had Luke Humphreys in a, in a quarter final. I know he's won a challenge tour this year, so he's obviously in the final of that. It's what it's the knock-on effect, isn't yeah. it? It's not this about the actual direct game. game. Yeah. And he's not playing an out of sorts Dave Chisholm. He's playing a Dave Chisholm averaging almost 100. 105. Yeah, and while Dave has missed eight darts at double, as you saw from the stats there, six of those misses came in one leg. He's only really surrendered the one leg by missing it's loads it. of darts at doubles. Wesley the rest of the time, Wesley keeps one shutting one him out before he gets a chance. It could be a bit of an insurance policy coming in here as well. He's got six darts at 167. Stay up there. And that'll be for treble 17, well, you'd think. Brilliant. How impressive has he been in this match? How impressive has he been all year? Every time we see him, you come away from it thinking there's a player there. He doesn't play bad, Dan, does he? Yeah. You make his play well, you're going to make yourself difficult to beat. And Dave Chisnell's finding out the hard way here. This for 5 2, but for a double break. And he's in touching distance of Dortmund. Oh, this is big. Oh, first wobble at a key time. Well, this time, Dave Chisnell is allowed a shot. 20 for tops, but could be awkward. See Daryl Gurney adopt the stacker down now, I call it. He just lands it flat in the ball. But yeah. Dave Chisholm moves along. That's a big moment in this match. What an exchange there. Dave's manager, Roger, still not convinced, but Wesley's got to regroup here. Be all sorts going in his mind now. Retires, keep pacing around his living room. One hundred and forty-one. Great camera angle. It, yeah, great camera angle. I thought he'd snaffled the one seven seven there for a minute. Love the camera angle. I love the word snaffled even more. <laughs> 
Plies had a few setbacks here and he's recovering well. There we see his darts are kicking right. Yeah, he has to shuffle. That, I mean, that's going to be the result of his action, isn't it? Where he swings around from the right and it's yeah. probably coming in from that angle, right? But he makes it work, doesn't he? There's no point trying to sort of adjust that technique. Dave shuffling along. 140. Well, 17. There didn't see much room there. And the 17 would have left the 170 had he not found the treble. But Plyser, how oh. good has he been? Big Wesley. Can't find double top. It Dave probably Chisnell, doesn't matter. But Dave Chisnell, can he conjure up some magic? If this goes in, it's. It's intercostal muscle stuff, this, oh. isn't it? But <laughs> 131. But applies and missed three in the previous leg. Got to hold himself together here to go one away from a place in the last 16. Now then. Oh, what a bad. What a bad. The panic you go through as a player when you're creeping up to double five. And I keep harping on. That's just in a normal situation. Wesley Plyser needs to win this game to get to the European Whoa! Championship Finals. It's looking like he's going to have to throw for the match. Well, that is maximum number four for Dave Chisnell. 100. He is averaging 103 in this game, Chizzy. Yes, he's missed a few darts at double, but Wesley plies here. It has been 100. a remarkably resilient display, and he only needs a little bit more resilience to get over the line. For yet another big name scalp, look at the names he's beaten on the Euro Tour this year: Jim Williams, Joe Cullen, Dirk Van Dyven Bode, Jose de Souza. He's not played that many games. 91. Obviously, without winning an event, he's pretty much taken every opportunity he's get. He's grabbed it with both hands. He's gone on a good run. As he's, it's only in his home country where he's beaten by Gilding, and 60. Gilding averaged 99 Gilding in that game to Wesley's 95. And it's only early exits. Yeah, and, and the home crowd. It, it, sometimes a bit of a weight of expectancy. But Dave here rushed that last start, but he's got time. Plaza has just got to get himself ready. You feel for the next leg. He's thinking now, kicking with a turn four in the next leg. 140. Well, that at least gives Dave a little tap on the shoulder. Ooh. A little nervous look at the scores. Four. And it'll be very nervous Wesley now because Wesley Plies here with a ton plus point. checkout. He's already had one in this game. This would win him the match, set him up a potential repeat with Luke Humphreys, and get him to the European Championships for his debut there. And he will get a match start, surely. Double 16 is the target. He stops, he pauses. It worked for him twice before. And it works again. Wesley Plaisier has battered down the door to the European Championship. He will make his debut, defying a 100 average from Dave Chisnell. An enormous moment in this man's career and testament to the brilliance that he has shown repeatedly on the European Tour in 2022. Not only is he going to Dortmund, he's in the final day of action here in Gibraltar. And I'll tell you what, he is a very, very tricky customer to deal with. Flyzy is going to...